Many legacy companies that rely heavily on data often use scheduled jobs to migrate data between databases. Let's consider a food manufacturing company. They have dedicated team for purchasing raw materials and recording stock information in a registry. The product manufacturing team requests raw material from the purchase team to begin the production process. Then the sales team estimate pricing based on raw material purchase history and manufacturing cost. Each department shares its data with other system to support this workflow. Typically, these companies store each department's data in separate databases, even through their service depending on one another. To manage data consistency, they often run cron jobs on schedule to exchange the data between databases. This activity most probably happens on after business hours to avoid application crashes, latency issues, and irregular data entries. The main challenge with data migration using job is that the duration of task increases with the volume of data. Some companies may take more than a day or even a week to migrate data. If a server crash or a job stopped, it might require rerunning the task from the beginning. This job also became highly expensive as they consume significant memory and or CPU intensive. This is where messaging queue comes in. Popular messaging queues like RabbitMQ or Kafka are widely used in fintech companies to transport high volume of messages. These tools function like a nervous system for a company. Let's see RabbitMQ is a message broker that enables service to communicate asynchronously. A producer produces a message and sends message to an exchange. These exchanges act as a router to direct the message to appropriate queues. Each messages are maintained by queue. It has own index that tracks the position of the message. When a message is published by a publisher, it's instantly shared across different consumers like one to many. If any consumer server is offline, the message queue system will wait for the consumer to come back online before delivering the messages.